Hi, and welcome to the fourth episode of PSC's Tech Byte. This week we will talk about site classification capability introduced a few months ago in SharePoint Online. Using this site classification capability, you can enable a site to have a custom classification of its content. And in order to do that, you need to enable this functionality using a bunch of PowerShell scripting. You can either use the SharePoint Online management command let provided by Microsoft, or you can use a few uh, easier command let provided by PMP as well. It's up to you. Once you have enabled the site classification capability, you will simply need to provide that information while creating a new modern site, whether it is a modern team site or a communication site. Once you created a site and you applied it a classification, you can just query the dot classification property of the site collection object of CISOM to retrieve the information, to retrieve the classification you defined. Moreover, you can also programmatically uh, make some kind of customizations on top of the classification information. So for example, you can read, again using CISOM or using the REST APIs of SharePoint Online, the classification property of a site or you can use the Office 365 group backing, uh, for example, a modern team site to read and write the classification property of that uh, Office 365 group and of the corresponding uh, team site. So let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to enable this new functionality and how to leverage it whenever you create a site. And later on, you wanna retrieve the information using the REST APIs or CSOM. It's up to you. In order to configure site classification in your target tenant, uh, you will simply need to install the model for Azure AD preview. Then you will have to connect to Azure AD, providing your tenant admin credentials. And once you have done that, you can get an Azure AD directory setting template for the group unified, uh, which is the one for Office 365 groups. There you can create a new directory setting object and you can configure the usage guideline URL, which will be a URL of a page uh, uh, which will be a documentation page for your end users while creating a new site or while inspecting the classification of an already created site. Moreover, you can specify the list of classification values that you want to allow to your users to select. And this is just a comma separated uh, list of values. And you can define a default value for every new site if you will not specify a, a specific value for the classification. Once you have done that, you create the new Azure AD settings based on the setting object that you created. In the target tenant, I'm going to use, I already have these settings, but let me show you how to do the same stuff just using PMP. As you can see, with uh, less uh, command let than before, we just connect using connect PMP online, providing the directory read write dot all uh, permission scope. Again, we have to provide the uh, tenant admin credentials. And then we use the enable PMP site classification command letter, providing the list of classification values, as well as, as again as before, the uh, user's guideline URL and the default uh, classification, but just with one uh, command let. And we can even retrieve the values using the get PMP site classification. Just to show you, let me uh, connect using this uh, connect PMP online command let. Let me provide my credentials, which are those in this tenant, and of course my password too. And once I've done that, I can get the current configuration. So the current PMP set classification settings. This is the URL for the guidelines, and those are the uh, values that I have for set classification as well as the default one. So let me switch to my web browser, and here I am in SharePoint Online. Let me create a new site. We can create a new team site. We can provide a name, which can be, uh, for example, a show classification uh, and today's date. It will be a public uh, team site, and I can select uh, the GDPR, for example, classification. Click on Next. In a few seconds, the team site will be ready to go, and we will see that in the UI of the new uh, website and the new team site, we will have the classification specified just uh, below the title. And here we are. This is the title, this is a public group, and here we have the classification. By clicking on the classification, you will be redirected to the uh, guidance uh, URL that we defined. Moreover, you can, of course, uh, click on the site information and you can configure the site classification from here, or you can uh, play using PowerShell or the client object model or REST APIs. And for example, you can connect to your target environment. 
providing a set of credentials, which my scenarios are those of my uh, current user. So let me connect to the site that we just created. And I will get a reference to the PMP site, and then we'll get the property for the site classification. And if I write this property to the console, I can see that the dot classification property of the site uh, season object is GDPR, as a value of GDPR. That's it, so pretty easy and pretty useful whenever you want to classify all of your site collections based on your custom policies and on your custom classification. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and see you next week.